Welcome to clickmyproject.com The title of the project is Unefficient Multilevel Convolutional Neural Network Approach for White Blood Cells Classification and the abstract of the project is White Blood Cells also known as leukocytes plays an important role in the human body by increasing the immunity by fighting against infections, infectious disease. The classifications of white blood cells plays an important role in detection of disease in an individuals. The classification can also assist with the identification of diseases like infections, allergies, anemia, leukemia, cancer, acquired immune deficiency syndromes, etc. that are caused due to anomalies in the immune system. This classification will assist the hematologist discusses the type of white blood cell presence in human body and find the root causes of disease. Currently, here are large amount of research going on this on in this field, considering a huge potential in the significance of classification of white blood cells. We will be using a deep learning technique like convolutional neural network, which can classify the image of white blood cells into its subtype, namely neurophil, isnophil, lyphocytes, and monocytes. In this process, we will reporting the results of various experiments executed on the blood cells classification and deduction dataset using CNN. And the flow diagram of the project is first we need to start the program and select the dataset. Then we need to visualize the sample images from our console working director. After that, it will be implemented into data preprocessing. In data preprocessing, we need we resize all the images and convert it to array or that we in that we have to apply the HSP segmentation. HSP segmentation means use H rated value which is used to segment the color region from the white blood cells and after that we will process it into data splitting. In data splitting we are going to split our data set into training data set and testing data set. After splitting the data set we will move into classification. In classification we are using convolution neural network algorithm to train and Generate the result based on accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score. The program was successfully executed in Anagona Navigator Spider IDE. And this is the sample visualization of our blood cell image data set. And after that, I have to apply the HSV segmentation. HSV means few saturated value segmentation, which is suitable to detect the color region from the input images. So I have to read on input images and apply the mask and after that implement the HSV segmentation to predict the predict the blood cell region from our input image. After that I have to check the minimum height and minimum with maximum height and maximum width for every classes from our blood cell image data set and after that I have to label the data label the images based on 0 to 3 and after that I have to show the sample visualization from uh, from all the different types of classes from our blood cell image data set. This is the independent variable train data and this is independent variable test data and this is dependent variable train data and this is dependent variable test data shapes and after that I have to apply the input to our convolutional neural network algorithm and this is the convolutional neural network algorithm summary result. The convolutional neural network algorithm gets the total trainable parameters 9,26,788. These are all the, all the trainable parameters. So I have to train our images based on the convolutional neural network trainable parameter for 25 different training epochs and I have to finally get the result from CNNS 98% and this is the performance graph of the convolutional neural network algorithm and this is the classification report for convolutional neural network algorithm and the classification report we are going to find the matrices like precision recall f1 score for every class so precision means number of correct prediction recall means number of correct instances of prediction f1 score means to test them to measure the to test the, to measure the test accuracy and the confusion matrix the confusion matrix which is explain the number of correct prediction and number of misclassification for the every classes by using convolution neural network algorithm and finally the user can manually choose on images and our algorithm going to predict the exact classes for the input images and these are all the variable results that we are using in our program